Hello, it's June the 24th. On this day, back in the year 1509, Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon were crowned King and Queen of England. Henry, of course, was one of the most famous English kings, being famous especially for his six wives. His first wife, Catherine, bore him no children. She displeased him for that reason and maybe others. And he petitioned the Pope at the time, Clement VII, to have his marriage annulled. The Pope refused. There was a rupture with Rome, and that precipitated the English Reformation, with Henry the King making himself the head of the Church in England. He dissolved the convents and monasteries and confiscated their property and goods and he was excommunicated from the Church of Rome. He went further and further away from the practice of the faith, taking more wives, executing his enemies, and very much living the kind of life which John the Evangelist speaks of in his first letter, those who succumb to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life and Henry moves further and further away from living the truth. A man who was involved in another controversy about a marriage is John the Baptist, whose birthday we celebrate today, the 24th. John the Baptist would not accept the marriage of Herod to his brother's wife, Herodias. He was put in jail and eventually he was beheaded his life, in the end, being worth no more than a dance. We need something of the spirit and courage of John the Baptist in Ireland now to stand up for the truth, the truths of our faith and the moral life which Christ is calling us to live. Truths about life itself, truths about the destiny of the human person, truths about family, so many essential things that we will need courage and conviction and trust in order to move forward. So let's pray to God our Father to give us something of the spirit of John the Baptist who will help us to live the truth this day and every day. John the Baptist was born on this day, his feast day, and Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon were crowned king and queen in 1509, 511 years ago on this day. Mm -hmm.